would say for myself speaking Spanish, I would think that I would be able to communicate better with them. I felt resistance from them. I felt like they had a wall, like, you know, they were polite, but they were very reserved. And after we had the women's conference, I gave my testimony and after it was over, they would just, they came, they hugged us and the, you know, they're like, we understand what you're going through and they were just very lovable. And I think that we have an understanding that even though we have different lives and we come from different places, at the end of the day, we all worship the same God. We're really excited about um, the potential um, of reaching them in those innermost places through the conference and um, I feel like the Holy Spirit did that. I feel like God did that for His glory because um, like Betsy was saying, people were a little more reserved and it's like they came in and they're listening but as, as Betsy shared her personal testimony, a lot of it like they rang true to their hearts and then whenever I was teaching them, even though I was nervous and I was wondering how much was really making sense, they were sitting there like saying like amen and like agreeing and um, I knew that as long as I was speaking the word of God that good things were going to happen, that the Lord could use it. And then also we had these little footprints that women like wrote like what footprint, like, what mark they wanted to leave in their homes. And these women were writing like, I want, I want a home of peace, I want, a, I want a home that worships the Lord. And so just reading some of those was just seeing that like they, they were listening. It was just nice to see how at first they were very resistant and towards the end it's like we were a big family.